servant as a leader or servant leadership. I strongly believe and I am so deeply persuaded that the greatest challenge of our time in everywhere in the world and particularly in this side of the globe in Africa and coming back home in Kenya, the greatest challenge we have is not joblessness. It is not lack of resources. It's not lack of opportunities. It's not lack of capital. It's not lack of minerals. It's not lack of things that can be done. The greatest challenge of our time in this country is leadership. It's leadership. When there is a problem with the leadership, everything else falls down. And I want to begin tonight by saying that leadership is inner inspection. It is inner inspections of your giftings, your talent, your character, your integrity, your skills, your talent, your gift. It's inner inspection. Leadership is influence. The greatest experience any human being could have in life is the experience of influence. Trying to influence somebody towards your ideas, towards your opinion, towards your ways, towards your ideologies. Trying to influence your children, your husband, your wife, your workers, your co-workers, your constituents. The greatest experience anybody could have is the experience of influence. But there is a big question that I would like to pose to us tonight. Is it then possible to fuse a servant and a leader in one person with all levels and status in this present day and age? Is it possible to fuse them together, a servant and a leader together in the same person to function in all the status and levels as both a servant and a leader? And the answer is, of course, yes. From the scripture we have read, it's actually a parable. Jotham is a descendant of uh, Gideon. You remember Gideon? The one God called that he was hiding. And an angel comes and tells you, mighty, mighty, mighty man of valor. And he was wondering, are you speaking to me or somebody behind me? Because he was hiding. Now, Jotham was a descendant of Gideon. 